Hola a todos, Alex, al habla, estamos en The Wolf Among Us, episodio 4. Bueno, sí, episodio 4, estamos ya en el capítulo no sé cuánto, pero bueno, es el episodio 4 de la trama. Y estamos ahí en los capítulos cortos de 20 minutos, y bueno, justo lo dejamos al empezar el episodio 4, después del principio y la intro y tal. Y aquí lo dejamos, entrando en la oficina, y había venido Nerisa a vernos, que Nerisa era... Ariel, ¿no? En teoría Era la que fue una sirenita No, bueno, sirenita, ¿no? Una sirena <risa> ¿No? No sé, no sabía que se llamaba Nerisa de nombre En fin, a ver qué nos cuenta Nos tiene algo que contar I, um, are you okay? De puta madre Solo me han destruido el brazo y me han disparado por todos lados I wasn't sure you'd be. Well, let's just say I've been better. Tosiendo sangre ahí. Claro. Te va a salir humillo por los agujeros del cuerpo, loco. Huffin puffs. Ya son una puta mierda. Many people smoke those. Eh. Ella no, entonces, o ella sí. ¿Os acordáis? Que había eh, habíamos encontrado so estos cigarros. I know what you did for me, sending me to the open arms. I think you want to help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? Es para siempre, ¿no? What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Hmm. Back in the dressing room. At the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for, and you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again. You can try. I just go ahead. It might work. You're here because the crooked man just sent Crane to the bottom of my list of worries. And you have something you want to say about that, right? These lips are sealed. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Mikawin? Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now... They're gone, and I don't know what to do. Are you trying to say something about Faith and Lily? Sí, no. Parecía que sí. What I'm saying is, friends matter, and I, I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Oh shit! Are you? Look around you. Who are you talking about? Are my friends in danger? I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. No puedo. ¿Qué pasa? I need you to know. I want to help, but. But. But your lips are sealed. Hmm. ¿Cómo lo hacemos entonces, tío? Si no puede hablar. ¿Y cómo el hechizo detecta lo que está diciendo? Sorry if I'm wasting your time. No tenía nada mejor que hacer. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? How can I? It's a tool to keep you stuck in that life. Subservient. That's why you can't tell me anything. Oh. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Quítaselo. 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 You mind if I just No. No. The lips are sealed. What? You can't. Just stay back. Las matas y se lo quitas. You can't do that. Slow down. It's all right. I'm not gonna do anything. Eso es lo que les corta la cabeza cuando se quitan el lazo. Don't. 
Cuando se quitan el, cuando se quitan el lazo, la cabeza se les... Puede ser, ¿eh? Que sea eso. Porque todos se la tenían cortada por ese sitio. Es como si a lo mejor okay. ya se hubieran cansado y se hubieran quitado el lazo, a lo mejor. Y estás asustado un montón, ¿eh? Consolarla. Ayuda. Y se lo quita súper rápido, ¿eh? If anyone finds out I came here. That's probably snow. Listen, Sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of trouble. Vale. I won't tell anyone, don't worry. Thank you. Si ahora se lo cuentas a. Uh bitch. <laughs> se la pone celosa. Mírala. Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. Oh. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Oh, wait, you don't have to go. That was que tú le cuentes a Snow lo que habéis hablado es irrelevante porque la ha visto aquí, ¿sabes? Que decir, su miedo es que lo sepa la gente, pero I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She told me enough. I think she told both of us with the way she just left. Okay then. Good work. Claro, vámonos. So, about Beauty and Beast. Do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? Por lo que ha dicho Nerissa. No, about the crooked man. Or do you think they just heard about last night? No, no, por lo que ha dicho Nerissa. That's what Nerissa was doing. Telling us to go there. I think she made it as clear as she could have. Hmm. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. She was looking for financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do and and she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Bigby, you don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That would explain why they called. No, we need to see. solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? Dios, venga. I have other matters to attend to. Oh, in serio? And you didn't want to tell me what you were into. With good reason. Look oh, what eh. happened. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed that. Se me están discutiendo estos dos. Oh. What do you want? Well, you're just going around knocking on doors. Snow sent me. Said you wanted to talk. Not me. Listen. I've had a shitty night. Do you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I? So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Yo qué culpa tengo? Who's there? Beast? Look, I'm coming in. So, uh, let's not get into busting down doors today, all right? Gracias. No estoy It's yo pa... your pal, Big B. Hi, Big B. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can oh. I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. Joder, tío, es que me cago en la puta. Hmm. Yes, I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Talk about living in the past. I just don't think we can trust him. Not after the way he went behind my back. And then you run and call him again? Well, I trust him. Of course you do. Super útil. Secrets for you. Ah, aquí donde estaba la flor. La flor. 
Big Vivas acaba rompiendo algo, de verdad. Como se ralentiza la vista, ¿eh? ¿Lo veis? Venga. Salanda. ¿Por qué tienen este teléfono? Esto es un teléfono móvil de hace más años que el copón, ¿eh? O lo parece, por lo menos. Sorry, it's been a long night. No me digas. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast. No, really, I want to know. What are you trying to say, huh? Did you come to give us decorating tips? Nothing. It's a nice place you got here. Thanks, but. That's really not why I called. Más tonto de verdad, Snow told eh? me you went to her for some financial help. Did you end up going to the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do. We so... should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate I things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. That's all I ever do. Calla, coño. Help, but I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. ¿Qué pasa? Venga. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the crooked man? What if we talk and you don't get him? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the crooked man. And I don't know if it's worth it. If you can't give us certain assurances. We're just looking for a little peace of mind in this. I can protect you, but only if you tell me what I need to know. And that means details. No more stonewalling. Venga, coño. We aren't. And Venga. just tell me what's going on here. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn. And we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Ay Dios, ay Dios. Hi there, you've reached Beauty and Beast, and we're out doing something fabulous. Um, let me just uh, a day at the beach, skiing hey, the slopes. We're not done here. <laughs> And I we should... can't come to the phone right now, so leave a message at the beep, and we'll get back to you as soon as. <laughs> <laughs> Humanly possible. <laughs> that fucking message. I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message one more time. I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of warnings. It's time to start thinking about how else you can settle this. The crooked man's gonna oh. get his oh, one way or this. another. Shit. Joder, justo. Bueno, lo mismo tenéis problemas All económicos. All I care about is how can I find the crooked man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? Si ya estáis metidos en la mierda y aparte eres bestia, tío, ¿sabes decir? O sea, viene alguien y le arranca en la cabeza. Lucky pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The crooked man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So when I needed money. That's where I went. I didn't know what to do. Did you ever see the crooked man there? When you got your loan? Or just shopping? No, never. But come on, it's his place. And the Jersey Devil never lets you forget it. Hmm. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. Todo el mundo va, I ¿no? saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. Oh, el leñador fue la vendió. I guess he's had hard times too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. Claro. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the crooked man there, maybe I can make enough noise. That the crooked man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. ¿Qué dices? And... 
Tío, eres bestia, macho. It's the place on Tubman Street, same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And hmm. I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I need it work. You have to believe us. Okay, well, yes, what better. are you delivering? What's going on there? How does this fit into the crooked man's operation? I couldn't tell you. But I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry filet. <laughs> I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there. How did you get involved with this? Johan the butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work, especially not where she was. It's up to me to take care of her. It's Mary you deal with? Oh Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. Vamos a ir ahí seguro, I've eh? seen her around there. She uh, gets under my skin, you know? I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. You're damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there... I need to look into it. Bueno, tengo que decidir ahora. I just wanted to provide for beauty, give her the kind of life she deserves. Vaya dos. We shouldn't have to live like this, scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Big B. Claro, no, porque soy un I don't need to understand. It's not my fucking job to understand. My job is to keep Fable Town safe. Y estés involucrado los dos, eh? A la puta so, cárcel. Where are you going? Donde me salga de los huevos. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'd like to know where it's coming from. Yo me prefiero ir a donde está la Bloody Mary esta asquerosa, eh? Primero porque es algo más sutil, no es directamente ir a su de esta de empeños. Y puede ser interesante ver qué es lo que le estamos dando en la carnicería, ¿no? Un momento antes de eso. Vamos a ir al libro de fábulas. Porque se han abierto algunas nuevas, creo. Puede ser. ¿Solo esto? ¿Esto qué es? ¡Oh, lo de la granja! Con su idílica ubicación y manejo comunitario, la granja parece ser una buena alternativa para existir en Fabletown. Pero aquellos que han vivido allí la ven de manera muy diferente. Lo ven por lo que es una prisión. Un lugar donde eres libre de ser quien eres y hacer lo que quieras, excepto irte. Bueno, seguramente hay algunas fábulas que viven ahí bastante contentas, que prefieren no no ser humanos, vaya. O no vivir tan encerrados como viven aquí. Vamos a ir a la carnicería, creo yo, eh. Creo que es lo mejor. Sí, vámonos a la carnicería y lo dejamos por aquí. Episodios cortitos, lo siento, pero es que tengo que alargarlo como pueda. Ale, espérate, ¿cuánto salgo de cargar? You know, Bigby, once you show up there, word is gonna spread. Lo sé, lo sé. Maybe nothing left for you to see if you go to the Lucky Pond after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Vámonos. Ahora en cuanto grave. Hay que decidir. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the crooked man. Matarlo. But is there any way you could help us out? Me voy a cargar, loco. What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? I'll yeah. handle it. I'm not gonna let that crooked bastard ruin any more lives. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Claro, matarlo para que después la otra gente, sobre todo Snow, me vea peor, ¿sabes? Pero estos son unos cabrones, como quieren que se me lo cargue. En fin, lo dejamos por aquí. Vale, hasta el siguiente vídeo.